now, for the past three years, Daredevil Jack Reynolds has celebrated his birthday by breaking world records. Not only that, but he has done it live on Good Morning Britain. He's sort of yours, isn't he, this guy? I know, he, he is. He kind of belongs Every to year. the show. Doesn't let us down. Well, he's so far, he's... I remember seeing this. He's ridden a roller coaster. <laughs> Incredible. Heart in your mouth time. Uh, he's conquered a zip wire. He's even got inked. Well, this year, to celebrate, would you believe, 107, so that means he was born in the same year that... Titanic set sail. Oh. He was born in the same year that Titanic set sail. So to celebrate turning 107, Jack's going to attempt a totally different challenge. I mean, we've, we've kept this from you because it's so unusual. You, you, you won't have guessed. We're going to find out what it is in just a minute. But first, let's look back at his, uh, his record-breaking birthdays. Oh, he is just incredible. I love the fact that every year he breaks a world record. And Katie Rickett is with Jack now so we can find out exactly what this year's challenge is going to be. I mean, Katie, just hats off to him because he never disappoints, does he? He absolutely doesn't. He is very nervous this morning. But I have to apologise to anyone at home whose nerves I've set a jangling because, yes, we are in a hospital, but please don't panic. Jack is absolutely fine. It's part of the stage for his latest uh, challenge this morning. So we're going to get Jack ready. Please stop whiffling. Jack has needed an upset. Uh, my lovely husband seems to have given the game away for anyone who knows, because, of course, since you've done that, you can do the heavy lifting. We are not in a real hospital. We're oh. actually on the set of Hollyoaks. We've got his whole family here to cheer him on, as usual, as Jack attempts to break his fourth... Guinness World Records title. Yes, we've got plenty of people on hand to help him out here, as well as Adam. Uh, we've got the gorgeous <laughs> Nikki Sanderson, who plays Maxine Miniver, and we've, uh, we've got Jacob Roberts, who plays Damon Kinsella, and, of course, the man with all the power. I'm just going to squidge around this side. Mm -hmm. Mark oh, McKinley, like an record to adjudicate. <laughs> Did you just call me yes. a <laughs> The cheeky devil don't ever work with your other half. Uh, so, Jack, how are you feeling about your latest challenge? However I'm feeling about it, mm -hmm. I've got to get over this first, and it's taking some doing. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to the next one. Hoping it's an uh, exciting one next time as Can well. Can we do this one first, Jack? Another one. You were telling me... <laughs> Talking you, about the next one. You were telling me... Oh, you mean this one, don't you? Because you haven't acted for a hundred years, have you? Oh, no, no. You, you can tell I'm a professional. <laughs> oh, you, you can see that, can't you? <laughs> no, it's uh, just over a hundred years ago I started my career. And he's going to attempt to become the <laughs> oldest person to star in a soap. Jane, you've been with him for every challenge. How does this one compare for you? Oh, it's been very different this time. Um, I'm normally upside down, round and round, a bit of a G.I. Jane. This time I've been G.P. Jane, giving him a bit of counselling. Is he so nervous? <laughs> no! Well, it's a good job we have plenty of pros. Uh, plenty of pros to give him advice. Adam, you're going to be his mentor for the day. What advice would you give to Jack? Uh, well, he obviously lacks confidence. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, my thing, thing is just to enjoy it. Um, honestly, you're, you're here on Hollyoaks, and I swear to goodness, they are the best people. So you're going to have so much fun. So just make sure you enjoy every single second and bring that little naughty wink that you have to say. Yeah, we love <laughs> we a bit of that. Like. Well, we can't tell you too much about Jack's scene because it is, of course, top secret. Uh, but we can tell you that he gets a hot new set of wheels for it. As you can see now, modelled by his granddaughter, Katie. <laughs> yes, it's going to be... Can you not move the mobility scooter? <laughs> Nothing ever the goes right in so, it? Uh, so Budget cuts. The question is, <laughs> will he... <laughs> there we go. Will he run away with Maxine in the mobility scooter? Will he run over Maxine in the mobility scooter? What we know is it's Hollyoaks and it's going to be high drama. Uh, so we have got Nikki. Sanderson, who plays Maxine. What advice can you give Jack on how to get into those scenes of high emotion and drama? Oh, um, every actor does it in different ways. I personally draw from um, experience in life. Um, and as it's quite miserable working with Jacob, it's very easy <laughs> to get that set. So, yeah, just use that. Alternatively, onions, <sighs> poking yourself in the eye, anything like that works. <laughs> Sounds like we're going to have a task on our hands today. And, of course, we've got Jacob here. Gosh, you are tall. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, how do you feel about potentially acting alongside the oldest man to ever star in a soap. Well, um, I've got experience working with Nikki, being oh, quite old herself, so... <laughs> um, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but, obviously, I've got to be on my A-game today. I know uh, Jack's a professional, so 
you know, I don't, I'm going to be a bit intimidated, but I'll make sure I'll do it. Oh, it's going to be absolutely wonderful. I know you are nervous, and I'm, I'm sorry, but there is a reason for Jack's nerves, because Mark McKinley's the world record adjudicator. What does he need to do to get this title? So it's not just enough for him to simply film the scene. His performance has got to be good enough that he actually makes the final cut and is broadcast oh, on the show. Oh, and that is a decision that lies firmly in the hands of the people here at Hollyoaks. So we've got some work to do. <laughs> we need to get Jack made up. Have we got makeup? Yeah, we need to get him ready to film his scene. You will find out whether he was good enough to make the grade live on Good Morning Britain tomorrow, but with the help of his great grandsons, Jack and Charlie. <laughs> Shall we tell them what we need to do? We need to be left to it because for now, from us, it's <laughs> cut! <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Great stuff. Katie, thank you so much. And best of luck to Jack. We'll be keeping our fingers crossed. Yeah, but, you know, somehow I can't see the editor of, or the executive producer of Hollyoaks saying at some point this afternoon, no, no, we'll cut that. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't, doesn't work. I just can't yeah. see that happening. He's in. Don't worry, he's, he's going to be. He's a character, isn't he? Apparently, what he's most nervous about is forgetting his lines. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but that's true of all actors. That's, that's what plagues them all, but he'll be fine. The thing is, when you get to 107, you just don't care, do you? Well, you've got a bit of an excuse, haven't you? You've got all those years of experience. <laughs> <Exactly>. but <laughs> So find out tomorrow if he does it. Look I'm sure he will. forward to it. Congratulations to him.